Okay, hi there. In the next of our series of videos looking at some of the key diagrams that will really help your analysis marks in the economics papers you're taking, let's think about the shape of the average cost curve for a natural monopoly. Now, a natural monopoly is a very specific type of industry and it occurs when the most efficient number of firms, um, thinking about productive efficiency, in an industry is probably one. So a natural monopoly, typically, thinking about water infrastructure, water and sewage, all that kind of stuff, the fixed cost of the network, the infrastructure, setting up uh, the whole industry is incredibly high, but the marginal cost of each extra user is low. And that can often lead to the fact that it's inefficient to have lots of firms each competing with each other, providing the same product, because the shape of the average cost curve, which we're going to look at in a second, is that it falls over a big range of output. So here's our average cost against output. I'm going to ignore marginal cost here, just think about the average cost diagram. So that's the shape of the average cost curve for a natural monopoly. It's downward sloping. It's much more efficient to operate at a much higher level of output. If we think about scaling up production again, we go from AC1, a fairly small scale production plant, to AC2, to AC3. As we're scaling up production, so the unit cost of production is coming down and down and down. Indeed, we may not necessarily reach a minimum point, although it does seem to be flattening out, doesn't it? And there may be some uh, diseconomies of scale at some point. But that is essentially the shape of the diagram to draw if you get a question on a natural monopoly. And the key takeaway point is that it may only be sensible to have one firm providing the, the core infrastructure, the core network. Maybe some competition in the final mile service between, between customers. But oftentimes in a natural monopoly, the scale economies favour monopoly. Now the shape of the long and average cost curve we've just been through uh, can mean it's tough, it's really hard for smaller so-called challenger firms to enter a market profitably. They can still enter. Uh, they won't have the benefits of the scale of economies that the big firms have. So they may well decide to target segments of a market where they think the, the, cost of dis, the cost disadvantage is not significant. For example, they might target the final mile selling to the consumer or some premium product in the market. So that's quite important. The natural monopoly diagram is a key one. Um, and if you get the question on it, please use that kind of shape of cost curve.